video two of 100, 100 days of symptoms. I have schizophrenia every day and I experience symptoms every day so I'm challenging myself to come up with a hundred examples of a symptom type and a specific instantiation of that symptom with consideration to schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, and bipolar. I experience creative paranoia, anxiety, when I try to produce or speak my opinion in my head before I do it. I feel a rush of anxiety in my chest and and I feel fear and I feel like I have to be in private and secret. And when I turn the record button on, I start talking, I feel much calmer, but the process of getting to the camera <laughs> is uh, tricky. And uh, I'm sure it's similar for other schizophrenics who try to be artistic, who try to create, who try to uh, be uh, speakers or activists. It's uh, tough to do that when you have paranoid, creative anxiety. <laughs> hmm. Like, I'm sitting in my room alone and I'm talking fairly quietly. There's no reason for my heart to like pound and uh, my vision to kind of get cloudy when I think of uh, now I want to make a video, now I want to turn on my camera, and now I want to uh, share with my viewers. <laughs> it's uh... halting and freezing to have anxiety. It renders you immobile. It feels thick and palpable, the block between the feelings and the expression. Anxiety goes in and out sometimes. You, I get a coherent thought and I talk along, I carry on, and then I pause. I come up to a contradiction or a extra thought and I wonder where to go next and the anxiety is right there again. <laughs> almost three minutes and I'm going to try to keep it under three minutes. I've been giving you day two of 100 days of symptoms. This is Ned Ned Nerb the Schizophrenic. Tune in next time and click share.